Hi, everyone. This is Mrs. Russo from Penn Lincoln Elementary. Just want to say hello to everyone. Hope you're doing well. I hope that the attached video that you're about to see uh, really helps you out with the math that you're about to do. So hope everybody's taking care of themselves, and we miss you guys, so hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello, Altoona fifth graders. It's Mrs. Villano from Pleasant Valley Elementary. I hope all of you are practicing your social distancing and staying healthy and safe. Please watch the next math video and keep up the great work on all your math assignments. Have a great day. The whole point of an area model is to really understand what's going on in the multiplication process. So 16 you can represent literally as 10 plus 6. This 1 is in the tens place. It represents 1, 10. So we can represent that as 10, 10 plus 10 plus 6. Let me do the 6 in that same green color. 10 plus 6. And let me mark off 10 and 6 here. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10. So this part in blue, that's the 10. So I'm representing, I've gone 10 slashes, or I'm representing 10 boxes right over there. And then the 6, actually I wanted to do it in that green color, I still did it in that. The 6, let's mark off 6 boxes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 16 is this whole length. The blue part is the 10, the green part is the 6. The 10 comes from the 1 in the tens place. It's literally 1, 10, and this is literally 6 ones. Now let's think about 27. 27. Well, we already know that the 2 in the tens place is representing 20. So let's count off 20. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So up until that point right over here, this line right over here has a length of 20. This has a length of 20. But we're not just talking about 20, we're talking about 27. So it's 20 plus 7. So 20 plus 7. So let's count off 7 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, if we look at the total number, so if we have 16 times 27, the product 16 times 27 would give you the area of a 16 by 27 rectangle. So let me draw that. So it's 16, this is a width of 16. Let's bring, let's bring a little line down right over here. And then the height of my rectangle, the way I've drawn it, is 27. Is 27. So let me, 27. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the area of this rectangle is going to be 16 times 27, the area of this entire rectangle. Now what we could do is break it up by parts because it'll be easier to compute and we can see what, those, it, what, those, it, what part of the area those different products represent. So for example, we can think about what 10, so let me draw all the, let me draw, make this, let me separate out the sections. So let me draw, so this section is 10 wide, and then let me draw a section like this. Let me draw a section like this. So we could figure out the areas of each of these sections, and then the area of the entire rectangle, which is going to be this product, is going to be the area of all of these rectangles combined. So we could first think about it. Well, let's think about what 20 times 10 is. Well, 20 times 10 is a fairly straightforward thing. It's going to be, it's going to be 200. You can already think of it as 2 times 1, and you have two zeros there. Or you probably know in your head 20 times 10 is just going to be, you're going to add a zero here, so it's going to be 200. So 20 times 10 is 200, and let me highlight that in. So you have, that's not the color I wanted to use. Let me use this blue right here. So that's the blue from the 10. Let me put some orange in there from the 20 to make it clear that this is the product of both of those numbers. So 20 times 10, 20 times 10 is 200. Now what's 20 times 6? Well, 2 times 6 is 12, plus you have this is 0 here. So this right over here is going to be 120. And it has the orange in it. It has the orange in it. 
So this is the 20. And then let me put some green in for the 6. 20 times 20 times the 6. Now, what's the area of this section right over here? Well, it's 7 high, and it is 10 wide. So it's going to be 7 times 10, or 70. And I'll have an area of 70 square units. So let me do it in this purple. I'll do purple, and I'll throw some blue in there, too. This is kind of a fun art project. I'll throw some blue in there, too. And then finally, what's the area of this little section right over here? It's 7 high, and it's 6 wide. So it's going to be 7 times 6, or 42 square units of area. 42 square units of area. And let me color it in. So I got some magenta in there, and then I got some green in there. So I have some green in there right over there. So what's the area of this entire thing going to be? Well, it's going to be the 200. It's going to be the 200 plus the 120 plus, let me do it this way. It's going to be 200 plus 120 plus 70 plus 42. And when you add that up, you get, let's see, in the ones place you get a 2. Then you get 2 tens plus 7 tens is 9 tens plus 4 tens is 13 tens, which is the same thing as 3 tens and 100. And then this is a 4. Did I add that up right? Let's see, this will be 11. Yep, that looks right. So this is 432. So this is going to be equal to, this is equal to 432. Hi, I'm Mr. Little from McCall of Heights. I hope that you enjoyed the video and that it was helpful and that you are all safe and healthy. See ya.